Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are. <coughs> I was uh, drove in here last night, or yesterday afternoon, I guess I should say, into this spot. So we're uh, back to road. We got us a reload. Yeah. Actually, matter of speak of fact. Matter of fact speaking, it is that same load that uh, <clears throat> we originally got, except uh, this time I don't have to take it to North Dakota. I just uh, gotta take it to, uh, or pick it up, <clears throat> and take it to Regina, and then another driver uh, he said would be able to take it from there to uh, I guess to where it's got to be delivered to North Dakota now of course as soon as I started recording the phone has got to go off and that's the way it goes sometimes yeah we're just bobtailing so we uh, we got to bobtail back to the place where I uh, picked up or delivered my load last, uh, last yesterday afternoon I keep wanting to say last night I don't know why I got that in my head but where I delivered it last uh, last day yesterday and uh, I gotta go find me an empty trailer in there and then pick up that empty trailer and then go over to uh, Noble Fort Alberta pick up that uh, load and bring it to Regina yeah good thing I fueled up yesterday in Moose Jaw eh? I could have probably gone back from here to Moose Jaw and be able to fuel up over there and be okay but uh, <clears throat> now I gotta go uh, further west to go pick up this load it's about two and a quarter hour further west Sort of southwest, I guess. Just left on Trail, Highway 1. So, uh, then the fuel wouldn't have been enough for me to go back there. So now we're, uh, we're in good shape. So let's go over there, pick up our uh, EMT, and then go pick up our reloaded trailer. Uh, not reloaded tra trailer, I've got to go life load, I believe. Yeah. Hopefully it won't be raining a whole lot today. I sure hope it ain't gonna be uh, a muddy yard over there because I just finished cleaning my truck yesterday so I really wanna keep it nice and clean. Especially uh, going to the truck show, you know. There next week there, I mean, there's gonna be a lot of drivers looking at my truck probably, you know. Let's go do that uh, trailer pick up there and then uh, we'll make our way down to where we gotta pick up our load. Oh, that truck looks like he's smoking something. Oh, he's... What was smoking there? But something looked like it was smoking there on the truck there on the, on the westbound lane there. I'm actually going eastbound because I gotta go back into Madison Hat. Like I was on the, uh, actually outside of Madison Hat. A little truck stop there at Red Cliff. So I gotta go back into Madison Hat and pick up my uh, reduced ahead. trailer. So we'll be right back, y'all. I am now in Left Bridge, Alberta. That's right. I know I've shown this uh, little wrong building up here before, but I figured, well, been a good while since I've been through here and looks like they got some signs up over there I don't remember them being there but I remember that wrong building there but but uh, yeah I figured I would show you guys that again beautiful sunshine out here today and we got about yeah I would say about half an hour to go up to our uh, pickup and uh, so that's going to be around 2 o'clock central time, 1 o'clock uh, 
Alberta time I guess that's still early enough to pick up the load I said by three o'clock I gotta be there so yep it's definitely a beautiful day out here to be cruising along here but uh, yeah so let's get on down there and uh, hope for the best we get our load on real fast well for those of you that have been around with me for a good while will remember me filming right here to the right at this little park here it's been a good while since I've been here but uh, we did go here we did go here and over here to the left is where it's we slept at meters. that time Turn left on. Kip yeah and then I walked all the way down this street just to go for a little walk because I had to wait till the next morning till I could deliver up here yeah I remember that yeah I don't know, the GPS for some odd reason doesn't want me to turn left onto the street that I gotta turn left onto. G GPS wanted me to go to the next street and then go down that way and then come across this road. Well, this is a legal road up here, so why not? Why not go down here? That's right. In 200 meters, turn left on Kids right. Street. Yeah, and then we're not turn doing right that. 130 <laughs> we're not doing that. We're going to the second street after this one. And I think I, I had to go to the exact same place, if memory serves me right. Pretty sure that's exactly where I went. No, it looks like even the third street from here yet. Yeah, I don't know why it wants me to go this weird, but... That's the way it wants me to go, IGA, that's... No, I G I. meters. Turn left on A G I. Street, and then turn right That's where we're going. Meters. That's where we're going. Let me see. I remember going in here. It was a bit weird, but if memory serves me right. Let me see. Um, well, at the time I had to do. I had to go in here, but I think I got to go on the other side. Yeah, I remember I had to go. I had to go around this way here, and then come in from over here. Yeah, I remember that. I had to go in there, come in that way. That's what I remember. And I think I did a trailer switch last time I was up here, but. Not sure if I'm supposed to do life flow now or not. I guess we'll go find out. We'll go find out, I suppose. But anyways, we'll go find out and then we'll be back. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Coming back into... Well, Lloyd Minister. No, not Lloyd Minister. What were you thinking? <laughs> Left Bridge, Alberta. That's right. I don't know why I was thinking Lloyd Minister, but here we are, coming back into uh, Leftbridge, Alberta, yeah, we were very happy to announce that uh, the trailer was ready at the customer, and it was just a trailer switch up there, so that is fantastic news for me. Yeah, that means I can just turn and burn. Turn and burn, baby. Oh yeah, I like it. That makes me happy. That means I got about seven and a quarter hours drive over to Regina. Yeah, they want me to go drop it there at, uh, at a place there. So that's fantastic. That means I can actually make it down Speaking into Regina tonight. I was looking at it already. It was uh, probably a little bit over 900 kilometers. Well, no, maybe not. Yeah, yeah, probably would be because it would be uh, speed limit reduced to half. 200 from uh, Madison Ave up to here, and it was almost 700 going back. So that means yeah, uh, 900 kilometers altogether. So that's fantastic news. I love it. 
I love it. Yes. And now we're gonna go with the wind instead of against the wind. So that's even better. But yeah, we are turning and burning. I love it that way, you know? Especially if the load is ready and you can just pick up your preloaded trailer and you're out of there. That's fantastic to me. It should always be like that, you know? Either do a switch or uh, it should be really fast with uh, reloading, you know? Then trucking would be a lot of fun. You didn't have to wait nowhere, you know? And you could probably even make a little bit better money doing it like that, you know? Because then you could get more miles in, in the day, you know? That would be awesome like that. But anyways, let's continue on cruising along here and we'll see what else we'll be able to show you today. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are now in Saskatchewan. Scratch me one. <laughs> yeah, I'll always make fun of that, but uh, yeah, we've been able to cruise along here for a, a good while now and we haven't stopped anywhere yet. I don't know if we will or not, I think I might stop somewhere along the way here and maybe just grab me a bite to eat or something. Maybe just grab me a quick sandwich or something and continue on cruising along here. My goal is to be in uh, Regina for tonight. And I know Trucker Jukebox is going to get a good laugh out of that again. We're going to Regina. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Yeah, a little bit hilly up here, but the wind is still coming out of the north northwest. So we are still cruising along here with the wind. So my fuel mileage is going up. So that's always good. But other than that, we didn't get no reload offer yet. So and it's already 10 minutes after 6 o'clock. Central Standard Time So we will not be getting a reload offer today as far as I know I've never gotten a load offer after 6 o'clock So I don't suspect we'll get a reload offer, but uh, whatever I'll still go uh, Go down to uh, Regina and deliver this load or not deliver this load just drop it at the yard We got a yard there a drop yard where we can drop our trailers and go drop this trailer in there and I guess bobtail over to the truck stop down there and bobtail you can usually get a parking spot somewhere and so we'll bobtail in there and find us a parking spot and call it a day I guess we should be in uh, Regina if we, if we drive straight through we should be there about quarter to ten but I don't think we'll be going straight through. We'll be making a pit stop somewhere yet. I'm starting to get a little hungry. I might be grabbing me a sandwich somewhere. And I'll probably take care of the restroom. Take care of business. Draw a line in the book. Check the tires and all that usual stuff that we drivers gotta do. And then continue on with our journey. That's right. But anyways, let's continue on cruising along here and see what else we'll be able to show you. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are done for today. We have achieved our goal for today. And that was into uh, getting into Regina, Saskatchewan. We dropped our trailer already and we're just sitting here bobtail. And you won't believe what just happened today. Yeah, I'm opening my window. And I'm gonna show you right now. Are you ready? Hold on to your pajamas. Yes. Take a look at that. It is snowing out there. Yes, look at all the snow and ice that's built up there on my mirror. Yeah, look at all of that snow out there. Isn't that crazy or what? I think it is. I think it is. 
here on the 21st of March and we got a snowstorm up here in Regina hell yeah, we've been driving on this stuff for the last hour I would say it's been really slushy and but it didn't really feel that slippery but I think a lot of that has to do with my new tires that I have put on I really think so I really do think that my new tires are making a big difference I think but we are done it's really windy out there too so uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and put yesterday's video together and then we'll go to bed and see what we can do tomorrow so with that being said give me a good thumbs up share the video and if you're new to our channel would you mind hitting that subscribe button right there in that corner and we'll be seeing you guys out here tomorrow on my video so stick around it's time to get going it's time to move on put this behind me that day is gonna come